everybody, and welcome to Plaid Stallion's Toy Ventures. And it's the end of summer. So on a long weekend, we attempted another toy tour, and I brought along my wife and one of my kids. And we traveled north this time to Cottage Country to take a look at a few things and maybe find some treasures, which I did and I will reveal at the end. But I saw a lot of amazing things. So let's get started. The first place I visited is the 400 Antique Ball, and this is uh, located just outside of Barrie, Ontario. And it is a large, spacious place that you can find a lot of amazing stuff. And I like to come here at least once or twice a year. There is also a flea market connected to it, and I want to get into that too because I met a vendor there. I'm, I met some old friends. I made some new friends. It's really terrific. So I'm going to do some slideshows, and I'm going to do some commentary. So let's dig in, shall we? Because there's a lot of ground to cover.
So after we were done with the vintage antique mall, I went over to the flea market side of the 400. And generally, I haven't really had a lot of success there. It, it's mainly like cell phone covers and a place to find that T-shirt of three wolves howling. But it turns out there were some vintage dealers. And there's actually a, a fellow by the name of Collectamundo there. And this, these are shots of his booth. And he was a really nice dude, by the way. And it was really nice to see a toy guy there, you know? Um, so I took some shots and I'll put his, uh, Instagram link below so you could follow him. But, uh, yeah, he, he's got some nice stuff and I'm definitely going to go up there a few more times. I also ran into some friends that I've known like for 30 years that have started booths, uh, there as well. I guess, you know, the pandemic and the lack of shows, they, they decided to, uh, go the flea market route. And it was encouraging. I really liked seeing vint so much vintage toys at this one establishment. I honestly think that I will be visiting more often now that folks like Collectum Underwear there. It, it gives me more um, interest, and I'll be following him on Instagram to see if he gets anything really cool in. Our last stop of the day was a place called Antiques on 11, and this is just outside of Aurelia, Ontario. Uh, it's not far from a hamburger place called Weber's that is like a family tradition now, and we're always excited to go. It's like a dog-friendly place, too, which is kind of awesome, and uh, I made a couple of nice discoveries there. I know one of the dealers there, a really good dude, but there's some really fun treasure in there as well, so I'll let the slideshow speak for itself. <laughs>
Before I get to number one, I just want to mention that issue five of Toy Ventures, if you pre-order right now, you can get a genuine rack toy, a modern rack toy, in the form of this Mr. Rock Cosmic Space Flyer. It's a real toy. It actually flies. Links to pre-order are below. Thank you for considering Toy Ventures magazine. Cheers. So I thought I'd showcase some of the stuff I picked up, and I, I do apologize for the rather uh, low-budget Ed Wood look to this, but, you know, done is better than perfect, as I'm very fond of saying. So I picked up a few things at the Antique Mall, and I, I honestly felt like I was kind of rescuing them. Uh, the first thing I picked up was this great Treasury Edition uh, Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. I collect Treasury Editions... They're usually not found reasonably priced. I mean, usually, you know, if you're at a Comic-Con or something like that, people want, like, hundreds of dollars for them. This was $15. I don't have it, and that that's an instant buy for me. Anything under 20 bucks that I don't have is, is definitely an instant buy. Um, I'm not a huge comic collector, but I ended up picking up a couple comics. This one made me laugh. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this. It is a Star Trek gold key enterprise logs if you follow this channel you know that i really love gold key star trek comics and when you do find them at like antique malls they're for some reason they're always like in ziploc freezer bags and you know they're 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 torn to bits and somebody wants like 80 dollars for them because it's a star trek so to see something actually like decent and reasonably priced I just voted with my dollar. I felt like I was rescuing this one, too. The next piece I found was an LJN Roadstars Flash Gordon spaceship. Um, I've, I've picked up a couple of Roadstars over the years. You know, they did cool things like Space 1999 and Archie's um, Jalopy, Betsy, I think. The reason that this resonated. Originally I passed, and then when I took another look at it, it's actually a Grand Toys. It's a Canadian package, and it has the uh, Eaton's price tag. And that being said, also, the, the pricing on it wasn't terribly uh, expensive. It was actually pretty reasonable. And, you know, like, look at that. That is a beautiful toy. And um, I don't remember seeing these as a kid, mind you, but by that era, like 76, I was probably just mainly in the action figure era, and that would probably be more in the uh, the Hot Wheels aisle, which I had you know, graduated out of at that point. Speaking of you know, spaceships and things I rescued, I picked this thing up, uh, and I kind of hoped my buddy Dave would want it, and it turns out he did. It was reasonably priced. And that is the, um, I'm not sure how to say it, I think it's Estes? And these people made flying model rockets, and this is the uh, Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper uh, model rocket. Now, I'm not a huge Battlestar Galactica guy. I have some of the figures, but the series never gelled with me. I'm more of a Buck Rogers guy. But when you see something like this sealed, and it was re very reasonably priced, to be perfectly honest with you, um, you just, you know, I sent him a photo, and... Uh, I bought it on faith that he would want it, and turns out he did. So that was a that was a good bit of happenstance for me. But I wasn't worried because I didn't really pay a heck of a lot for it, and I knew somebody would want to trade me for it. And finally, and this was at our last stop. Um, I just on our second pass of the building at Antiques on Eleven, I stumbled upon this on the bottom of a shelf, and that is um, a Planet of the Apes action stallion by Miko. And it was very reasonably priced. I do not know if she works. She's, she's missing the saddle. But I knew that, obviously. And it was just kind of nice to see it there. I hadn't seen one in a long time. I have one in the box, but I've always wanted a loose one to display. And the price was so right. And, you know, it's like a little victory. Uh, it was a really uh, fun experience uh, doing this today. And Finding a Planet of the Apes item, wow. You know, I, I'm a huge Planet of the Apes guy. I'm always on the lookout. It's few and far between. So this was a really wonderful experience for me. It was great. It was, it, this was the big win of the day for me. 
So that was my day toy hunting, and I, I think I did pretty darn great. Uh, I'm very happy with this. It's been an excellent summer. It's been a lot of fun despite, you know, shutdowns and that sort of thing. Uh, it was just nice to be out there antiquing again and having fun and, and seeing all this stuff and seeing so much new stuff. Um, I think I bought a little more than I normally do because it's the end of summer. I don't know when I'm going to do this again. And that whole thing of, you know, driving home, like it's, you know, it's about an hour and a half from where I live sitting there thinking, ah, I wish I'd bought that. I wish I bought that. I didn't want that this time. So everything I picked up, I'm glad I did. And it was a lot of fun. The family had a great time. And I, I hope you've enjoyed my look at this. Uh, I get a kick out of doing these kind of videos. So let me know your thoughts on these. I always appreciate it. If you are new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I do this kind of stuff every week. Until next time, take care, be well. And talk toys, not others. Cheers.